You know, they say some people aspire to royalty, other people just visit the royal spire. Welcome back to Prince of Persia 2008. Crow, you're fired again. Get the fuck out of my LP. No, you can't make me, I'm not leaving. Um, I know the precedent holds up, he's got you there, Artix. Yeah, it's my fucking thread still. We can change that. I, I don't think we actually can. So it doesn't have to be your thread anymore. <laughs> or you're just gonna steal all my videos and then just like, ooh. Can you can you imagine if the forums were actually like done well enough to let you change in place the owner of a thread? <laughs> like just just thinking about that is funnier than literally any any joke that has been told over the entire course of this entire LP. Something something lol radium. I was gonna say, are radium jokes really that much funnier? No, the, the radium jokes aren't funny, but the idea of the forums being that well implemented is. Fix Prince of Persia 2008, low tax. <laughs> uh. But he's too busy drawing digital spaceships for us. Yeah, and buying anime for his child. If the digital spaceships look anything as good as this game, I could, I could, I could stand to not complain about that. So wait, has Lotax taken over development of Star Citizen then? I don't think so, but that probably wouldn't slow anything down. It's like, Christ, just what we need: Goon Fleet actually being in a game in and of itself. No, no, the game, the Goon Fleet is the game. Yeah, uh, I, I, don't, I don't even have anything to do with any of those games, and I already know all of this. It's taken on a life of its own. Alright though, but seriously though, I, I, I forget what even is the deal with this place. Something about a concubine. Yeah, we are fighting the concubine for like the eighth time, and yeah, the, the Royal Spire is basically just like the throne room, I think? Question mark. It's the uh the Royal Spire is the court, apparently. Or at least that's that's the impression I get from the uh from the concubine chatting at us. And from Elika's little description too, because like she more or less said like she made this her headquarters when she was, you know, living. I guess. The big gimmick about this place is you'll see in a second here is that the area sort of unfurls itself is it's this one big giant like for some weird ass reason prehistory Persian clock tower with like steampunk gears and all this shit like look at that yeah like, let, let's not mince words this is the clock tower stage there's always one and apparently we've got corrupted air as well because that's the thing for some reason well, we do, but only in that one tiny area at the bottom, so it's just as ineffectual as it is literally every other time it is introduced. I was gonna say, still can't kill you, though. Ha ha, wordplay. I can feel you looking. Just climb the tower. Can't believe Elika is trying to sneak a peek like that. To be fair, she's the kind of person who would. Probably just doing it just because she thinks it's funny. And, and let's be honest, it is. Yeah, like troll Elika is the best Elika. Let's not let's not mince words here. Yeah, I like I like the magic blue power. It's it's like it's like very swingy. It's like it's like magic Spider-Man powers. Yeah, I was gonna say like Tarzan or something. I mean, let's let's not confuse it with you know the jumping power or the flying power, which are like functionally the same thing but slightly aesthetically different. Well, I was gonna say like the like this is sort of like a soft reskin of the Steppelbor Maz, just in the way it sort of functions. Yeah, like it, lar the differences are largely that this one has no problem throwing you in a situation where after you get out of the. Uh, the step or whatever that you have to like do an elica jump or something like the gears and the walls they're not even connected to anything or the fact that yeah that this is a clock tower but like 
you'll see it in like, or maybe we've already gone past or, or wherever, but like the clock face is on the inside of the tower. Yeah, there it is. I legitimately didn't even realize there was an actual clock here. Yeah, that's that's like major, major credits to the otters for actually remembering to put a clock in the clock tower. And the best part, yeah, the best part is like the hands on the face actually move. So like if you like sort of stand there and watch it, it will sort of go around in a very fast clip. Next, next you'll be telling me it actually represents your system time. God, that would be something if it did, but I don't know, pa paging gimbal lock, maybe? Time for some more intense elevator action. Have you figured out how to use the fucking elevators yet, Ardix? Basically, when it, you need you need to parry it just as it gets past every quarter. You say, I, I'm going to make that my life's ambition now. I'm going to solve these fucking elevators. Why do you want a princess when you have a queen? That wasn't but, polite. but you're you're not a queen. Who's who's the queen that we're supposedly being offered here? Nothing that you just said makes any sense. Oh well. Anyway, we're on the top of a tower, so we're like contractually obliged to have a boss fight up here because like it's the law or some shit. How you doing, Elica? Yeah, so yeah, and once again, there is absolutely nothing to this whole trap thing. We just have to go touch Elica and she's back to normal. Adds a tiny bit of variety, I guess. And to be honest, there's like a a lot of towers in this game, really. Like, we're not even at the half of it yet, because we still got the whole, like, City of Light to go through. Also, yeah, Elika just almost jumped right the fuck off the tower there. And there's, there's Heaven's Stair, which, like, isn't really a tower. Except it kind of is, but it also really isn't. No, you see, it, it's an observatory. That is literally just made of a bunch of hot air balloons strung up together in a vertical format, so it kind of is a tower by default. It's towering. It it, it towers. This is this is this is not a tower. We must be very particular about our definitions. Now see that this is why you need Blind Sally here, because he would have made like a towering pun somewhere and I'm just at a loss. Uh oh well. Yeah, I've I've got I've got nothing. I can't I can't make tower puns under pressure. I'm sorry, I failed. I always appreciate the, the the one QTE where she like tries to like get on top of you and the prince literally just boots her. <laughs> like nope. No demon sex for you, lady. <laughs> well, that that was a fight. Are we gonna make grass grow on top of the tower now? Hell yeah, we are. I mean, that's how that works, right? You know, the whole like concrete thing is totally amenable to growing plants. No, the, this this place just has a wicked moss problem. That's what's happening here. Wasn't that basically like one of one of the subplots in Wolfenstein: The New Order? Was that there was the Nazis and their super concrete, but the super concrete was actually like super malleable for like mold, so it just got completely taken over by mold. What is it that you wanted? Yeah, that's that's right. Our man is actually the Nazis. This whole thing is an allegory. And the grass on the tower gave it away. What about you? What do you want? Things to be as they were. We can't go back the way we came. We'll need to find another way. Wow, that was meaningful. I've got some spoilers for the both of them. They don't get what they want in this game. Ever. This is my father's court. No game that looks this good ever ends with people getting what they want. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, that doesn't... Like, the only thing that might ha that might happen as far as somebody getting what they want is the prince gets his fucking donkey back and gets out of here. Because, uh, I, uh, I can promise you that the, uh, the land of the aura is sure as shit not gonna go back to the way it was. 
you know, apart from how we're like the the literal land will, because that's what we've been doing. But you know, the the, the society is fucked. No, they're out. That's that's not happening. Yeah, the king is probably like, if not on his way to being dead, going to be dead by the end of this, and. Those two other guys that were there at the beginning of the game have probably fucked the hell off and are like running to like Baghdad or wherever now. Like, and and of course Elika's dead. Yeah, that that happened. Yeah, let's let's not forget let's not forget that that is that's an actual plot point. Elika is dead and has been the entire time, but she was brought back to life because uh, something something Armin's power, nor Maz's power. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure there was a there was a very there was a very good reason for it that makes total sense. And she she is literally just a meat puppet for God right now. Right, but she was brought back by by uh, Armin's power. That was the whole point of the deal. That that the uh, that the uh, Morning King name. Oh yeah. Hang hang on no 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 you're 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 getting you're getting confused now you're now you're all talking about the plot of Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII instead of Prince of Persia. This, this is this is Prince of Persia, guys. <clears throat> it's almost like this is some sort of weird recurring trope in fiction, isn't it? Man, next next you'll be telling me there's a literal deal with the devil, and we're gonna go full allegory. That was the deal with the devil. Ugh. No, the deal with the devil was how we how we revived this thread. It's true. You you forced everybody to watch my version of this. This is this is your fault, Crow. Yeah. Speaking of that, Artix, I am really appreciating the fact that you picked a wildly out of tune and distorted version of Army of One to go over this uh, light seed gathering sequence. So thank you for that. Yeah, it's I would I would say it's fitting, except it's really not because this literally is a game about an army of two. But we couldn't. But we couldn't really have that because Army of Two is already the title of an of award-winning, a critically acclaimed video game. Didn't they make a sequel to that? Yeah, yeah, they did. Like, wasn't it called like Army of Two, like the fortieth day or something? Like, they they didn't have the balls. That sounds familiar. Yeah, they they didn't have the balls to call it Army of Two Two, or just Army of Three. Yeah, they say army of three, army of one. You really, you, there was a lot of directions they could have taken that. Yeah, arm, army of two, two would have, would have, would have been good. I would have, I would have liked that. But you know, they're not, they're not that, they're not that creative. I mean, we are talking about a game that literally opens with, with a, with a little video of some people watching a news report about 9/11 and then going, "Oh man, it's real now," and then they murder everyone. Also, nice fucking work there, Artix. Yeah, so uh, that thing spins, except anytime you're in the air, it doesn't spin because presumably they didn't want to fuck up your jump. So if you jump with an like anticipating it to move so that you're timed correctly, you just fall right into the abyss like a jackass. Mm hmm. Thanks, Ubisoft. It's helpful, except when it's not. I, I need to I need to go back and check the rest of the video to be certain, but I'm reasonably sure that like as you as you go up the tower, all the various spinning bits are all spinning in opposite directions, which means that they 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 put in the necessary gears to make that happen, and I don't know why they do that. Oh God, gotta go fast. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, that one's a fucking dick move. Who the fuck would have caught that on their first time? Like. Half of these things are dick moves, really. The whole thing is there just to make it like feasible that you might not get the be gentle on her achievement. You know, I, I agree. I agree. Fuck people who like achievements. They're they're the worst. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>